from the very beginning, TwitchCon's been a test for me. It's been a test of what I promise to people, keeping promises I keep to people, and keeping promises to myself. And I think on day two, it's been good so far, and even so, I think I've learned a lot of things already. You know, I, I, I didn't set out for this. I wanted to change the way I do conferences. I wanted to tell myself, promise myself, promise Jen, that I would, you know, set up a schedule, set up what I wanted to do at a TwitchCon, at a, at a, at a conference, and hold to it. Like, what I wanted out of this was to meet the people I wanted to meet, meet the people that mattered to me, and not really sweat, you know, the experiences I don't get. Not like yearning for the things that, you know, would, not setting myself up for failure. And that's kind of been the, the running sort of, the running thing for the past year in my channel. So what do I want? As Jack Lefier, a good friend of mine, Kevin, or Jack Lefier would say, why do I stream? And it wasn't until this year that I really figured that out. Why do I stream? But to answer in one way would kind of negate other answers to the question. Like, you know, I, I am an ambitious person. I am a product of my parents. I'm a product of my dad. I have always been ambitious. I wanted to meet and greet. I wanted all these things. But at what price? What I found out is that I have what I want now, what I, why I stream is for ABLN, it's for the community, it's for being able to wake up in the morning or be thanked by one of the members just now, we just had our yearly TwitchCon picture just now, that he loved the fact that he was just able to come in and have the community welcome him. Like, like without, without any second thoughts or without any qualms, like he, he just, you know, not even giving much credit to me, but I don't take it. I'm not looking for that. I said to him, like, the fact that I can give my members credit for stuff that's going on in my community just shows what, you know, it gave me a warm feeling here, you know. But at that, if I were to focus on community, then that in turn has other costs, like growth. It becomes like, you know, if, if, if it becomes a thing where I have to work harder for each person rather than being, uh, taking the other route and, you know, kind of getting people in the door and making them stay with my, you know, awesome gameplay and stuff. No, it's not. I have this, I've had this metaphor going in my head for a while and it's, it's the stage versus the sofa. There are a lot of broadcasters on Twitch who want to be on a stage. They want to be the person that, that people are in their seats watching, clapping, cheering along. And, you know, I, I thought I wanted that. I thought I wanted to be on a stage. You know, I did that in, like, literally in, in high school and, and in other different situations. I was on a stage and I loved being that. I loved being a weatherman for my high school, being in front of a camera, giving the weather every Wednesday, and being noticed for that. Then there's the other thing, there's a sofa. The way I see myself, especially almost a year into being a Final Fantasy streamer, a Final Fantasy XIV streamer, is that I prefer the sofa. I prefer the sofa environment where I'm sitting on the sofa with all of you, the proverbial sofa, where we're sharing something together in front of us, and it's not all you looking at me. You know when you're at a dinner, you have, like, and you have like 10 or more people, you're all there together because you love each other. You love each other, you enjoy each other's com company, but you're gonna talk to different people. You're gonna, you know, they, they, you, can only, you can only reach so far and, have, and carry a conversation with people. And, you know, those, those are the moments, like we had the chillest, my team's, uh, my stream team's dinner was last night. And I got to know a few of my members, my teammates, better. You know, I wish I was able to talk to everybody. I wish I had time to talk to everybody, but that's just a fact of these things that you can't. So you cherish what you get out of it. And in that sofa metaphor, the members on the couch, the proverbial couch, aren't necessarily always talking to me. They're talking to each other. They're becoming friends with each other. They're being there for each other. They're developing relationships. And the stories that keep coming out and the messages I've been getting from people that love 
like this way of doing things finally gives me some purpose in what and why I stream. The people that came out for the picture today, the people that I've been seeing, the the different the, the difference I've been getting in whether it's just a hug or you know any form of full-time for almost two one and a half years there's a long way to go and as long as I'm able to keep afloat we can play this out like this and I'll be happy for it I feel like I'm in a better place because of it it took a long time to figure that out and my thanks go to the people who are there every day or even the people who come in once once a week once a month the people who haven't come in that I see at TwitchCon Every single one of those people that has interacted with me has taken a part, has taken a, has a piece in this, in what I've learned now, in my community, in every part of, of this place. So, thank you. And to the people that are watching this that aren't part of my community, you know, you have been a part of the community, of, of forming the community that you're a part of. And never let yourself feel any, any different for that. You've had a tremendous impact on the broadcaster, the friend, the person whom you interact with on a daily basis. And Twitch is really the only place where this happens. So I'm going to cherish it. And I'm going to go forward and go back into that convention center and make the most of the rest of this conference.